Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to finally be doing this. Um, it took me a while because I'm kind of a reserved, hesitant person at times, but I was just like, you know, let me get out on the dance floor and show everybody what I got. So here I am. So let's start off with what you can expect from this channel and who I am. My name is Carissa. I am 25 years old. I am a working millennial. So if you are a working millennial, I'm sure you will find things that we have in common. Some other things that I definitely want to incorporate on this channel is number one, fashion. I love fashion. I love like hauls, watching haul videos from other YouTubers. I love watching lookbooks. So if that's something you're interested in, you should definitely subscribe. Um, the next thing probably would be is the lifestyle and definitely the lifestyle of a working millennial. So if you are interested in things like how to do your five minute makeup routine for work, how to dress for corporate uh, functions, subscribe to my channel because that's something that I feel like there's a void on YouTube for and there's definitely room for that. And then lastly, I would say is some fitness. I'm definitely a big fitness enthusiast. However, I want to tread lightly with that just because I'm not certified in anything. I did play a sport in college, so I feel like I have more information than the average person would have. However, I'm not certified, so I don't want to make any recommendations to people or anything like that. But I'd be more than happy to share like my weight loss journey, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, what workouts I feel have helped me lose um, weight and stay in shape. So I will add some videos like that if you guys are interested. But for the most part, I do want to keep it just kind of fashion, beauty, lifestyle, that type of thing. So let's get into um, the get to know me. So first video on this channel has to be a get to know me because you're probably like, who's this random chick I'm look watching right now? So I have some questions here that I found for the get to know me tag that is on YouTube. So I'm going to answer a few of those and hopefully that um, gets you interested in getting to know me and subscribing to this channel. First question, if money were no object, what would you get for your birthday or what would you get for your next birthday? So I actually have a birthday coming up. I will be 26 in November. So if money were no object, I would take a trip. Like I love to travel. I love just seeing new places, new cultures. So I would take a trip probably to, I would probably take a trip to Spain. I have been to Spain once before, but it was like literally two days, not enough time to experience it. Um, and I love the time that I spent there in that two days. So I would go back to Spain, um, do like <clears throat> sightsee, do like a spa day, a day on the beach, um, just lavish meals. That's what I would love to spend my money on. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? London. I've been to London also for a study abroad and I have vowed to go back just because London to me has a vibe where it's so incomparable to anywhere in the US. Like you have cities here in the US that are um, very nice, but London to me was just very clean to be such a large city. It just um, had this quaintness about it The arc from, not the architecture, but just like, I can't think of another word, but vibe, but it just had a laid back, definitely city vibe, but it wasn't overwhelming. So London would be my choice. Were you ever a scout or a brownie? So yes, I was a girl scout growing up. Uh, I can't tell you much about it because I have bad memory, but yes, I was a girl scout. What city were you born in? 
Um, if you haven't been able to tell yet, I'm from the South, so I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. And now that I'm living in the Northeast, my accent tells on me all the time. Let's see, what did you want to be when you were younger? When I was younger, I wanted to be a couple of things. I'm definitely a creative person, so a lot of my career interests were things like being a writer, being a college professor, I remember wanting to be that. Um, yeah, those would be the top two that I can remember that I really was quite serious about doing. What is the one food that you refuse to eat? <laughs> I refuse to eat artichokes. I don't know what purpose those they serve. <laughs> that is just, I, yeah, no. Artichokes, um, beets are another, like, I just, no. Uh, next question. Let's get to some of the favorites. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal would have to be... Mm, I like kittens. So, any, I feel like anything in the cat family, I'm going to like. <laughs> so, let's, let's just go with cats. What's your favorite book? Sheesh, that is such a hard question. Um, this answer varies, so now that I'm in my adult life, the book that probably is my favorite as of right now is The Untethered Soul. Um, I'll link that book below if you guys are interested in that. It's definitely like a self-help um, kind of finding yourself book, but you take so much away from it. It's definitely not a one read and you put it away. That's a, a book that you revisit and you reread because it's just so jam-packed with things that make you reflect. So you're not just gonna get through it and be like, oh, okay, you know, that's that. It's definitely something you revisit. So that's my current favorite book. And then I would have to say, growing up, I was a big Harry Potter books fan. I read all the Harry Potter books. Um, so it's a tie between that and I'm a big Walter Dean Myers fan. He had a lot of teen, books um, when I was in high school so he had a book called Motown and Dee Dee that for some reason I really really enjoyed it's about a guy and a girl who fall in love and they're in like Harlem and they kind of have some um, rough surroundings there and challenges they have to face so that would be my other book <clears throat> favorite dessert My favorite dessert would be cheesecake. I actually love cheesecake and it's so funny because my first time visiting the Cheesecake Factory was last year in 2017, yes. I don't know why I had never been before but that was my first time going and it was so good and oh man, cheesecake is just, there's something about it. <laughs> there's something about cheesecake but that's my favorite. Your favorite foreign food? I'm a big fan of Indian food. I just fell in love with it. I had that for the first time not too long ago also, but I've continuously found different Indian foods that I like. Like it's not just chicken tikka masala anymore. It's, you know, different dishes. Like I haven't found a dish I didn't like that was Indian food, so. That's my favorite. Favorite movie, Clueless. I know that's such like a chick flick and like, n like not really the most cinematic movie, but it's just something about that movie. It's timeless, it's funny, like pretty much most women can relate to it and, or at least I can and I just, I love that movie. That's my favorite movie. I'll do two more questions. <clears throat> what is your favorite series? I, Netflix is just 
snatching my edges because <laughs> I have found so many different series that I really enjoy. I would have to say, if I had to answer that question point blank, and I know this is going to suck, but probably House of Cards has been one of my favorite shows on Netflix, and that sucks that, you know, Kevin Spacey is a weirdo, <laughs> pretty much, but that was my favorite show um, up until, you know, his allegations and all that stuff, but I'm excited to see what Claire... Um, has up her sleeve to me. I'd rather watch a show with her being president anyway. So girl power I'm excited about that and then last but not least What is your favorite sport to watch so like I said I did play a sport in college um, So I am a basketball fan <laughs> Um I don't watch it as much as I used to when I was actively playing the sport, but basketball is the one sport I can sit through a game, be entertained, and football. Um, my boyfriend is a big football enthusiast, so the more I'm just around it so much now because he's into it that I'm like really starting to get into it. It's kind of interesting. So that's me. I hope that I'm interesting enough for you to subscribe and like this video please um, be on the lookout for like I said if you are a working millennial or someone who's into fashion hauls vlogs I may do a few vlogs uh, keep that in mind that this is something that you know you could be potentially watching my channel from here on out so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and finding my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.